What's poppin' everybody? Well, welcome back to a brand new video. My name is Danny Matthews. Today we're gonna be talking about how to use LUTs and what LUTs to use in Adobe Premiere. Hmm, dope. Now, I will warn you guys that putting a LUT on your footage is not a one and done thing. There are some other steps you have to take to make sure that the LUT that goes on top of everything blends in perfectly. But it's not hard to do, so I'm gonna explain what you have to do before putting on a LUT. First things first, before you put a LUT on your footage, you have to make sure that your footage has a basic grade to it. Before adding a LUT to your footage, you need to make sure that you have a basic grade done. Now, I made a video here that explaining how to do that. It's fairly simple, pretty straightforward, not too difficult to do. You have to do some white balancing, put some contrast into it, adding shadows and highlights, and then you're ready for your LUT. Now, I personally don't really use LUTs that much. I usually like creating my own looks and all of that, but adding a LUT actually adds a lot of symmetry between all of your footage, really pulling everything in and giving a cool look. So let's jump into Adobe Premiere. Now this video was requested by our lovely friend here. And that's why we're gonna be showing you guys how to do this. For reference in Premiere, my timeline is here. My toolbar is here. Here's my source panel. My project and effects windows are gonna be here. Here is the effects control for that. And finally, the preview window. Now that you have a good understanding of the layout of Adobe Premiere, let's go ahead and jump into this tutorial. Now this is a video that I just released and we're gonna go through this project file and we're gonna show you how to do it on this. So what you're gonna to wanna to do is come up here to your window up here. Go over here to window under workspace, come in here to color. Now in color, if you don't have this luminetry color panel on the right side, what you're gonna wanna do is come over here to window and make sure that luminetry color is checked. Now, before anything else, you wanna make sure that your footage has a basic grade. Now, what does that look like? Let me go ahead and pull my panel over here. Now, a basic grade is gonna look like when you first shoot it in log or whatever, it's gonna be flat, it's not gonna have any contrast, it's gonna be pretty just bland. So what you need to do is come in here and add on some color and some basic grade to your footage. So here you can see I added shadows and whites and highlights and I have the video that goes through how to do this up here and it's gonna help you guys with that. But once you're ready to put on your LUT, what you're gonna do is come over here to your creative tab, open up where it says look. Now we have a lot of presets in here that we can use and honestly, some of them are not horrible. Like uh, let's try out this Fuji one. Um, never mind, this is horrible. Um, so this is something you can put on here and what you're gonna wanna do next is when you put your LUT on here, you're gonna have your intensity. Intensity shows just how intense it is gonna be. Think of it as opacity, how much it's actually showing of this LUT. So the more you have it, the higher intensity, the more it's gonna be showing, the less you do, the less it's gonna show. Pretty self-explanatory. On here, we have different LUTs, like I said, in the preset, but you have your own custom preset, then I'm gonna show you some presets to go find that you're gonna to want to have in your arsenal. Go under browse, hit browse, and find it in your folders. Now say it's in your downloads and you have your LUTs here, it's gonna be a dot cube. You're gonna go ahead and click on that and then open it and voila, you're gonna have your LUT on here. You can see the before and after without the LUT and you can change the intensity of how much you want it to show. Pretty simple. Now, where are you gonna find good LUTs? To find the best LUTs, you can either make your own LUT or you can come here onto tropicalcolor.com. Now, tropicalcolor.com has everything for a video editor, everything for a production company, everything like that. They have contracts, all these crazy stuff, FX filters. They have um, courses, they have different LUTs here. Here's something that you're gonna wanna come to because they have really great LUTs. We got film textures. Film textures are things that are gonna go overlay on your footage, really cool effects. Color, here we have film mats. We got some motion assets, typography, reflections, literally everything a video editor would want to have. And this place does it well, very well. I've used them, they're great, they're awesome. So come over here to color, you're gonna hit shop this. And unfortunately, you are gonna have to pay some money for these LUTs, I know. If you want good LUTs, you're gonna have to pay for them or you can create your own but these look really amazing so what you can do is come on here and look at these different types of LUTs. $39 for a LUT pack is not bad compared to what some people have to pay. This is like probably your more teal and orange that you can get. You can see the before and after. Now you have to understand that all of these before and afters are already done with basic grades. So if you just smack this LUT on there on your like S-log footage, it's not gonna look perfect like this. You have to make sure that your basic grade is in the right spectrum and it's not too difficult to do. Like I said, just watch that tutorial. It's fairly simple. I do it really quick just to give you an overview of what that looks like and then you can slap one of these LUTs on. Very cool effects. Guys, I definitely suggest coming on here and finding them. $39 and all you have to do is go ahead and just find where you place them on your downloads 
and insert them. All right, guys, so that's how you use a LUT and how you're gonna find your best LUTs. I'm telling you guys, if you go on there, you won't be disappointed what they have. They have a lot of different LUTs that you can use on there, as well as really cool effects that you can place on top of your video footage. So guys, I hope that this video was helpful for you. If you have any questions whatsoever, go ahead and leave it down in the comments below and I'll get back to you guys on that ASAP. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out. Hmm, dope. I swear I'm here in spirit. I just got tired of doing the outro and no one watching it, so.